the JE Main 2022 results have come and uh, there were a lot of students who were very happy, there were a few disappointments, specifically among those students who thought that they will get a better rank based on their percentile. Like for example, there were some students who got 99 plus but ended up with ranks like 7000 to 8000. Uh, similarly, 98 percentile went up to 16000 etc. So therefore, this question remains as to what is the mapping between percentile and ranks. So we decided we will do a quick video on this. We have collected some very, very crude data. So what we are going to present here is just approximations which will give you an idea. They are not exact, just approximations, but fairly I would say accurate. Just to give you an idea, what is the mapping between percentile and ranks? Okay. So, let us look at uh, some preliminary data for JE Main 2022. So, number of unique test takers, this is not just take test takers, unique test takers is 9.05 lakhs. For the June uh, session as well as the July session, approximately around, around 8 lakh uh, candidates have taken, give or take uh, a few numbers. So, but then there were some duplicates, the students who have taken the first session also would have taken the second session, most of them. So, the number of unique test takers across the two sessions is around 9 lakhs, 9.05 lakhs to be precise. Um, why is this important? Because approximately one percentile drop will correspond to something like around 9000 ranks and we will see that when we discuss the mapping between percentiles and ranks. So, 9.05 lakh unique test takers this year JE Main 2022 and we all know the number of 100 percentilers 24 this time 24 and uh, now let us look at this the most important thing again uh, let me warn you that these are all approximations based on data we have collected uh, but there are reasonably good approximation just to give you an idea. So, 99.9 .9 percentile would end with something like around 9, 987 rank somewhere around 900s. It roughly corresponds to what I said earlier that 1 percentile corresponds to uh, something like around 9000 ranks. So, 0 0.1 percentile would correspond to something like around 900 odd ranks. So, 99.9 .9 dropped at 987, 99.5 now see that is where the disappointment was. There were so students who were getting 99.5 and they thought computer science assured in open category in some in the top NITs. Now, they are in for a disappointment. Okay. So, 99.5 ends at 4613 open category in the top 3 NITs computer science may be difficult, will be difficult, why may be? 99, finally 99.0000 if you take, it will be around 9183. You will still get a decent branch in a decent NIT, no issue with that. Will you get triple IT Bangalore? No, not possible. 99.5, possible. Um, 98.5, 13,735. You see, there is already a drop there. All right, 98.5 is coming to something like around 14,000 rank. 98.000, let us say, that is coming to around 18,135. Again, the point that I was mentioning, 1 percentile corresponds to something like around 9,000 rank. So, 2 percentile drop leads to around approximately 18,000 rank drop. 97.5 percentile uh, corresponds to 22,800. Uh, in the open category, some NITs, if you are not branch specific, uh, definitely some uh, centrally funded technical institutions okay, or as they call it GFTIs government funded technical institutions, GFTIs is possible. Uh, 
and triple IT is of course. 97 is 26,987, let us say 27,000. Again, what I said in the beginning, 1 percentile corresponds to 9,000 rank drop that is still getting maintained. So, 97 percentile approximately 27,000 odd ranks. 96.5 percentile 31,478, 96 percentile corresponds to 36,042. I mean, I can go on, but this in, in open category, if you want to get some kind of a seat, NIT, triple IT, GFTIs, I think it is somewhere there, all right. So, 96, 36,042. Obviously, the next big question is, now I have got the rank, what will I get? What kind of NITs, what kind of branches, etc., etc. There is time for that, but we will do a, do a video on that. In fact, we will do a series of videos on that in terms of uh, uh, specific NIT, specifically those of you who are from Telangana and Andhra Pradesh would be interested in NIT Warangal. So, we will do that quickly sometime. But I would say my advice to you at this stage is do not bother about this. I mean, if you are somewhere here, if you are in these percentile categories, do not bother about this because you have got the other major exam which is JE Advanced. The, after JE Advanced, there is sufficient time for you to do all this kind of analysis. We will come back, we will do more videos, we will tell you the entire counseling process, we will tell you how to choose your branch, how to choose your institute, uh, the first generation IITs versus second generation IITs, third generation IITs versus NITs, triple ITs, BITs, all these kinds of analysis, there is time for that. So now is not the time for uh, cluttering your mind with these kind of thoughts because you got to prepare for your JE advanced, stay focused on. JE advanced, not too much time, we have just got a couple of weeks. So, now is the time where you have to focus, concentrate, take those grant tests, analyze your shortcomings, see what kind of improvement you can make. You all know that we have the grant test series and also an online crash course and whoever is taking, I am sure you are getting benefit of that course. Now, for those students who are disappointed with the performance, who have not got, who are not getting any seat based on your percentile, you got low percentiles here, do not be disappointed. We understand there are several students like you, last year you know, last two years you know, you are the worst affected batch because, uh, because of COVID. So, till September 1st last year, there were no physical classes and I can understand if you have got demotivated, if you did not have access to good online classes, there were online classes, but you got distracted. A number of reasons, though you had the potential, you could not do well. I would suggest that you should be looking at the at, at repeating uh, the JE Advanced, JE Main and JE Advanced, uh, because if you see primarily this year, August 28th is when your JE Advanced is. When the results will come, will take some time. Your counseling process will take some time. By the time the semester starts the, in any of these NITs and IITs and triple ITs, it will not be before 1st of November. So, because this entire process will take uh, a couple of months after the results are declared, because it after the results get declared, you need clear six weeks for the entire um, counseling process to be over, because as you know, the counseling process for IITs, NITs and triple ITs is common. It is common counseling for all the three, JOSA counseling as it is called. So, a student who is joining this academic session, his classes are going to start from November, already he has lost 3-4 months. Compared to that, in a few months from now, you are going to have the JE advanced next year. Next year JE advanced, there is no reason for it to get postponed, most probably it will be held in May. So, and uh, even if it is held in June. The academic session will start by end of July, 1st of August next year. So, compared to the current batch of students, next year you will start on time, you are not going to miss any classes. For the students who are going to join this year, the session will be compressed. There are other reasons also why you should be taking, uh, why you should be repeating. If you think you have got the potential, you have not done well because of various reasons and primary reason being uh, COVID and online classes and your inability to focus, etc., etc., there, there will be other reasons. 
uh, we will discuss uh, in a video later as to who should be repeating and why you should be repeating. But if you are thinking of repeating, we have got this um, long term program at our Nallakunta and Madhapur centers, both these centers uh, with hostel facility. We have got a hostel facility at both the centers at Nallakunta as well as Madhapur and uh, JE Main and Advanced 2023. Our Nallakunta batch has already started, Madhapur ba batch will start sometime uh, next week. So, you can take a screenshot of this, the numbers are available, you can call our executives on this number, get all details. Do not get disappointed if you have not done well in JE this year, if you, if you think you have got the potential, after all it is going to take just a few months for you to repeat it and do well. That premium for IITs and NITs still exists and it is worth spending a few months for repeating and doing well, especially if you think you have got the potential. Okay? All the best for those of the students who are preparing for JE Advanced, all the best for JE Advanced. Those are students who are thinking of repeating, all the best to you, for you too. So, the next uh, video we will discuss about this repetition, should you repeat, uh, what are the conditions and what should you be doing. If you have any questions which you want us to answer, in the comment section in this video, you can put in your comments, we will try to answer as many questions as possible uh, in the next video that we will do specifically on those students who are looking at repeating. All the best.